Well, hello again. This is your host, the Owlhead, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Yeah, so, what do we do? I've seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in it will take down a human. Excellent. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna want it back. I'll so don't give go it die back. And lose Jesus. It. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy, practically useless against vampires, but still, a kindred's gotta keep up with the times. And in modern day Los Angeles, that means coming strapped. Useless well, against vampires? Yeah, well, some are more lethal than others. Depends on the gun. Watch out for those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart, I tell you. All right, I got Head you. Up, Come on. Clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm going to make sure there's no stragglers around outside. Thanks for all your help, buddy. You've just been given a 38 revolver, etc., a ranged combat weapon. You guys know what guns are. Oh, I didn't actually mean to press that. That's my bad. Let's shoot some bottles. I have terrible aim. Hey, I knocked one down. Awesome. Give me a wreck. Give me a wreck. Give it to me, yes. Definitely need some blood, man. Are there any more rats? That's one. That's the dead one. Come on. There's got to be a few more rats. Holster, give me the rat. Excellent. Not quite what I needed, but it'll have to do for now. Any ammunition in here? E, wrong button. Oh, just the bottles. Uh, how about here? I think actually, yeah. If I remember correctly, there is some 38 ammunition. Very good. This is elevator, and this is locked. There's no way to get in that. There's no reason to. Let's just continue, shall we? basement, because we're in the sub-basement right now, or we're going to the ground level. Either way. All right. If I remember correctly, a couple of guys over here. Hopefully there's not too many. Uh, but I'm not sure, as I have forgotten. Okay. There's that guy over there. No problem. No need to rush or do anything crazy. And we jump. Oh, shit. Oops. Uh, celerity. Excellent. Ah! No! Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Oh, crap. Okay, I pressed all the wrong buttons. Ow! Excellent. Well, either way, I'm going to get some blood out of this asshole. That'll heal our damage. And he's done. I believe... Ow. Ow. Um, default F1. Excellent. Now, who is shooting at me from where? Oh, it's this guy. Man, you're going right through the shelf. You're a great shot. So thank you for that. Give me all of your blood. I appreciate it. We'll no longer need your services. Thank you, juice bag. Now you can lay down. Did I pick up the baseball bat? Oh, hey, Jack. How you doing? Did I pick up this guy's baseball bat? Because I feel like I didn't. I know there was a way to sneak around and, like, stealth kill everybody. I'm sure there was. But I get We must have picked it up. I don't remember picking it up, but we must have. Anyway... Jack, how you doing? E? Hello, it, Jack. Kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone slinks back to their corners of the city for the night. That's it? It's all over? Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Parry, dodge, spin, and all that, and so on, and so on, and so on. So, this is normal? I'm already getting ahead. Well, to be honest, you came at a... Well, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabbat... Now, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred had stakes down in California long before them. Now, we got every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. It's very poetic of you, Jack. Hmm. Oh, That's my ride. Boy. Oh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you got a cab to catch. Was hoping to fill you in on a little bit more, but... Ah, hell, you'll figure it all out. I will, but I'd like to keep the gun. I wonder if we get an experience for giving it back to him. If you make it Here's back, your gun. stop in at the last No, round. no experience! Bar downtown here. Ah, uh, bullshit! I'll in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. Uh, I should've, they should have given me one experience point for that, man. I totally deserved it. You've received two experience points. Well, yeah, but for finishing it. You know what I mean. 
haven. Prince Lacroix has arranged for you to use a Camarillo safe house in Santa Monica as your haven, but what about, like, your family and friends? Man, there are some interesting, uh, questions to be raised. Now, you got two experience points, you can let them build up. We're gonna need ten for our next celerity, five for aspects, and five for presence. Don't know if I'm gonna raise the other two, but you definitely want the full, uh, the full gamut of celerity. It's, it's quite enjoyable. Here we are, man. Home sweet, shitty home. Lacuna, Lacuna, Lacuna Coil. Lacuna Coil, not a bad man. I can think of some, excuse me, I can think of some, uh, I, for, apologies, by the way. There's a blood pack in here, if you didn't know. Now you totally know. I knew because I've been in here before. Is there anything else around for me to find? Hello, LA. You're up. Hold on. <laughs> There's, of course, the radio and the computer here. We have the TV. Tuesday morning, who says he smelled it? Especially enjoyable if you're a Malkavian. The fucking TV guy will just start talking random shit. You have a letter at your convenience. Please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave this guide to you. Dark blood, our curse, a light this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. That is, like, really unnecessary. You could just give me a damned uh, address. Money envelope. Contains a hundred bucks. Take it. Exit. Excellent. The password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled, Mercurio. Excellent. We're going to go check the email and see where our friend Mercurio lives. I really got to turn the light on here at some point if I'm going to keep having to type things. Also, Sunrise for our password. Real fucking cute. Number one, a reminder. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. SL. Sebastian LaCroix, that's the prince. I really feel like they under, like, okay, they you have no reason not to bail hard and, like, leave California. You have no idea what else is going on in the world, but it's like, what, this. your main character doesn't even try to uh, go back to his life. Oh, good. Penis enlargement. That's definitely what I want to see in my email. Uh, subject, Kilpatrick's crime. Pewter looking for that lazy-ass ex-husband who's late on his alimony payments. How about that jerk who hocked you, who knocked you up? Hocked you up. Kilpatrick's amazing crime. Pewter can find almost anyone with a record. And if th these days, that's just about everybody. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If you've got the deadbeat, we've got the technology to find him. That's very useful. We may end up using that later. Mercurio... Welcome to town, etc. Uh, 24 Main Street, number 4. Walk to the end of the alley, and my building's the next one on the right. Awesome. We are going to go see Mercurio. Anyway, let us uh, go out into the world. There is a bathroom here. What is this back here? A normal watch! Excellent. Pill bottle. As I said before, uh, our perception, our high perception, makes things glow. I don't think... There's anything else around here, is there? No? I thought sure there was a key over here. This is, of course, locked. I don't think we can get in by ourselves. No? Lock picking failed. L l difficulty of five? That's not fair. They also won't let me slide down the banister here. This one doesn't have a doorknob. Let's just check things here. Quest uh, log updated. Definitely don't forget to check this out. Carnival of Death. Gruesome remains found on the pier. Police baffled. This will lead to a quest later that takes you through most of the game to solve. Is there anything down here? Sometimes there's shit hidden in a... I can't, can't open the oven. There's nothing over here. Just a blank bed. A shitty computer. Oh, boy. The, Halicon, the Halcyon days of my youth. Old, crappy computers. No mirror. Pretty crappy apartments by the pawn shop here. Let's uh, head out. I think we've seen everything we're going to see here. This game is so much fun. I, I know it may not look so uh, as, as much fun from the tutorial, but I'm telling you. Oh, good. Nothing in our mailbox. Just like normal. Violating the masquerade by revealing aspects of your supernatural existence to humankind puts you, exist, puts you at risk of ambush by human hunters and invites the wrath of your fellow kindred. Each breath of the ma each breach of the masquerade costs Isn't you one masquerade point. You some change, mister? Fuck you. This is definitely just like home. I do, but not for you. You hungry? I am too. Hmm. We do seem to be all alone in this alley. You're not exactly what I wanted, but choosers can eat beggars. <laughs> Here, it's not much, but I hope it helps. I'm not really in the business of giving people money that ask. So, uh, how about you're not what I wanted, but choosers can eat beggars. 
we'll just go ahead and chomp on you a little bit because I don't like you. Lunch. Ooh. Come here, Lunch. Your name is Lunch. Lunch the hobo. Lunch the magical juice bag hobo. Excuse me. This is also the sewers. You'll be using that a lot if you pick the Nosferatu, since you can't be seen. It's one of the many disadvantages. You're gonna come up from the sewer everywhere. Although it can also be a little fun. I believe that's our friend over there bleeding all over the sidewalk. <laughs> He's having a rough night. We've all been there. So, this is Santa Monica proper. Various people walking around. Some of them you can talk into, uh... Uh, no. No? Oh, I should eat you just for that. <laughs> Boy, if I had a nickel. Um... This is the pawn shop. I believe you can get things like weapons in here, but for right now, we'll uh, we'll just take a look around. Let me let me give you the grand tour here. Got some cops, you know. And Need of course, something, pal? Uh, fuck you. I'm looking for someone. I'm just looking for someone. Uh, as a matter of fact, no goodbye. Oh man, wait. Say that again. Hello, everybody. This guy's name is Knox. Okay, you can hear me if you pulled your head out your ass. Okay, I'm looking for someone. No, oh, no, I didn't mean to. I don't want a console. Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? I may be. What vampire? What the hell are you smoking? Look, I don't know what you think you know, but I recommend you forget it. Let's say I am. What's oh, it to man. you? Oh man! You could just I yell a little it. louder. Just, oh jeez, I knew you were. I just could tell. I. Oh man, this is great. And God, it's like I'm at a Twilight convention. And, and I was like, damn, it was like I could just sense you. The name's Knox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, man. <laughs> this is awful. The pleasure's all yours. Leave me alone, Jackass. Are you a vampire? How cool. do you know all this? I didn't know about any of this stuff until a couple of months ago. When this guy just appeared and... Well, all of a sudden... BAM! Whoa, man! Vampires are real and right there in front of my eyes! Blew my goddamn mind. I think it's still blown there, buddy. You said you're a ghoul. What's that? Nope. My new boss is... Wait. You said you're a ghoul. What's that? Well, the way it was explained to me... Whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're cool. <laughs> Ooh, watch out. The dialogue is hilarious. I we never I don't think we ever get to kill uh Knox, but I kinda want to. Who's the vampire that made you a ghoul? You seem to enjoy it. I can ask you some questions. Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man. Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Nerd. Do you like being cool? It's been fun, Knox. I don't have time for whatever the hell this is. I have to go and do vampire shit. Uh, hey, uh, buddy. Yes, is there something I can um, help you with? Maybe. What are you doing? Waiting for that blasted tow truck I called an hour ago. I'd rather not wait another second in this part of town, this time of night. Rather dreadful place, don't you think? Absolutely. You should have listened to my mechanic, by German, he said. You just want to admire me in private? We could use a blood point to that. Could I persuade you to help me out? My wallet's been stolen. I don't think it's actually going to work, but let's give Afraid it a try. I'm a little short on cash right now. Oh, well, maybe you're looking for a little company. I'll be on my way, then. I think you need a slightly higher persuasion, like, depending on how you allocate your traits. I didn't mean to, like, gesture with my visual viewpoint there. What's up, buddy? Hi. How you doing? No, I don't, don't, don't feed on him. Talk to me, you asshole. He won't talk to me at all. That's fine. We got our Mercurio's Bloodstain right here. This is an art place where they do art things. This is clearly a prostitute as well as some various places around here. We will be exploring these for quests later on, but for right now, uh, also the uh, medical clinic will totally be going in. But for right now, let's go see Mercurio. Elysium, you're entering Elysium. Elysium is an area where uh, it's the domain of a powerful vampire. Basically, don't start any shit here. You can't, I think, actually start any shit in Elysium. Those mothers ripped me off. Ugh, I'm dying here. Ah, you look fine. I've had worse nights. Are you Mercurio? You want me to call an ambulance? What? No. I got a record back east. I'm heat day. Don't touch that phone. No goddamn cops. All right, fine then. Are you Mercurio? You look pretty bad. You sure? What's up? Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shanked me. 
the bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Stay with me. What happened? You stopped crying like a girl. Come on, I what's got, up, man? I went... Uh, what is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is broken through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Ah, it's a broken bottle. Now tell me what happened to you. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks. Hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. The mouth those on you. Cocksuckers. Jesus, Mr. dude. left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit. They got the money, they got the astrolite. You don't have the astrolite? You idiot, the prince, etc. Uh, where are those, those bastards? Those small-time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Four or five of them. And one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money, too, that prick. How do I get it back? So you're telling me I have to get it myself? Great, how do I get there? Laying in a pool in my own blood, and you want friggin' directions. Of course! Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach... On the right. Those better not be some of my last words. <laughs> How do I get it back? You're telling me I have to get it myself? Great. Anything else? You gotta, you gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. I don't know. I want to kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, you did blow it a little bit. I'll get the astrolite. Is there anything I can do to help you? And by the way, I'm talking to people because this is how you pick up quests in the game in case you hadn't realized... Can't believe the prince trusted any like you know. We want his quest because we want the experience points. Yeah, if you could, oh, something just started leaking. I uh, just tell I me need already. I something for the pain. I'll bring something back for you. Uh, one more thing about the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything. I can help you out. Good to know. Goodbye. All right, and I'm not obviously going to tell on him, but the reason I'm not going to tell on him is, of course, uh, where's the where's the doorknob? Fuck, I can't even find the doorknob. This place is so confusing. The reason I'm not tattling on him is that he becomes a shop later. That's a little bit of uh, forward knowledge for you. Tomes of knowledge can be found without the game using throughout the game using these manuals permanently increases one of your stats. Each manual has requirements for use, meaning your research feat has to be a certain uh, number rating. As well as other things like... I thought I saw something down here. As well as uh, other things like, you know, you can't use a brawling manual for number three for, for three brawls if you... That's a dude. Can I help you, sir? You look like a sabat... Okay. And he vanished. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. This is a dumpster. Uh, <laughs> those. So that's your explanation for skill books. We got the diner here. The... Uh, there's a club somewhere. Yeah, the asylum right here. This asshole who's ranting about the apocalypse, which we don't care about. But guys, I went a little over time. So, on the next episode, we are going to go to the beach and straight up fucking murder those guys who screwed over Mercurio. I did mention that he becomes a shop later because he does, and the things he sells end up being like super high-end weapons, like flamethrowers and such. Anyway... Guys, that's going to do it for the episode. If you enjoyed that, leave a like. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. Please tell me what you thought in the comment section. And uh, on this lovely shot of Trips Pawn Shop, guys, this is your host, the Owlhat, saying I will see you next time.